Hey everyone, I am Amanda from Mandy Lynn Plants. Welcome back to my channel for my June bullet journal setup. If you watched my May setup, there are going to be less spreads. Um, if you watch my May flip through that will be coming out soon, um, you will see that I didn't really use all of my trackers that I put in. So I'm not going to include those this time. I'm only going to include the spreads that I think I will actually be using. So I'm going to be using these washies together and then um, some Artline sticks, markers. I really like these for brush lettering. And then I'm just gonna use um, the June stickers at the bottom of my monthly script page. So um, for this first page here, I'm just going to use some washi really simply. I'm probably gonna be doing this the same way for most of this because I like consistency but I might change it up a little bit. We shall see. Um, this, they are both from Recollections, um, or Michael's, the Recollections brand. This was in a two pack, and I think this was one of the single rolls that you can get for like 33 cents or whatever at the door, like when you first walk in. So that's what that is from. So June, um, I'm thinking for this first page here that I am going to just write, hello June. And then um, I wanna leave space. I want it to be pretty open um, because I have some plans for it. Let's see if it will fit to do another, since this is, all this Japanese down here. I think I might do this. Since I didn't white it out, you can kind of see through it a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so like I said, I'm just going to hand letter, hello June, and these colors aren't a perfect match, but I think they're gonna work. So what I'm thinking for this page is that I want to write memories from the month all around. Just kind of here and there, not necessarily one every day, I don't think there's enough room for that, but whenever something big happens that I want to remember from the month, I wanna come in and just write it around the page. This is going to be kind of the last month before crazy hits. <laughs> um, I am pregnant and due at the end of July. And so this is kind of the last month where it's just gonna be us three, my husband and I and our year and a half old daughter. Um, and so we have some fun things planned. Um, so some things that I definitely want to remember before baby comes. I am going to let this dry before flipping my page. These are um, nice juicy brush markers and this Tumbleway River paper, the ink sits on top, which is wonderful. It doesn't soak into the page, which means that there's almost absolutely no ghosting. I mean, bleed through, there is ghosting, um, but it does take some time for it to dry. While that is drying, I can also go ahead and add my little tab. I have been doing um, just simple Avery monthly tabs on here. And I'm sad because the next color in my like color order is orange. I would rather it have been blue, but music down here is blue. So anyway, it will bug me more, I think, to have this out of color and to have two blues here than it will be to have a orange tab next to the um, pink and blue. So I think about there-ish will work just fine. And I don't see, it's not shiny anymore, so I think it's pretty dry. To be sure, I am going to put my pencil board here, just in case any ink is still left over. Then I'm gonna write June on the back. So um, I said that I'm not going to do all of the spreads that I did this last month. Um, one of the ones that I'm actually including that I haven't used at all, um, really for since I've been um, 
using my Hobonichi and not using a Loish term for my bullet journaling, um, I am going to incorporate a brain dump page again. Okay, let's see if I can get this. There we go. So I'm going to do just the same thing here and I will rip that off. I do like for my washi to go all the way across. This is not straight. Mm -hmm. So June, yes, June will be the last month before lots of things happen in July. My husband and I are camp directors and we have two weeks of camp Although he doesn't actually think that we will be there the second week um, because I am due the 23rd and the last day of camp is the 19th. I was a week early with my daughter. So he doesn't think that we will actually be there the second week. And um, actually we we're just assistant directing the second week. Um, so there there are other directors <laughs> we we planned that on purpose so that in case we weren't there for baby or whatever and i haven't told my doctor yet um i was going to at our last appointment but i didn't actually see my doctor at the last appointment um i saw a pa instead and so I think this next appointment I will tell her, <laughs> ask her, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I think this is just going to be a brain dump page. Um, I'm going to have a lot to get ready for camp, and I just need a spot where I can come in and kind of write a bunch of just really random things down. And I'm not going to call it like a camp brain dump because um, I'll have other things too. I'll have shop things. Um, it'll be our last normally opened, um, normally scheduled. What am I trying to say? <laughs> we are closing in July for camp and baby. And so it'll be the last month that we are completely open like normal. Um, so anyway, there is just a super simple um, brain dump page with just some washi. Nothing too super fantastically special about that. The next thing I want to do is something that I do every month and that is my expense tracker. I think I'm actually gonna flip flop the way that I've been doing the washi. So I'm gonna do the flowers up on top. So I do not track all of my expenses on my monthly page here. Um, I only track six categories, the categories where we tend to overspend in and I just want to keep a closer eye on. Um, we use a program called You Need a Budget. It's a website, it's an app. Um, it's a really great program. I highly recommend it. I will have a link down below um, if you are interested. You do get a free month if you use that link. Um, and then if you sign up for it, I get a free month as well. It is a paid program. Um, I don't remember honestly how much it is. We pay a year at a time, um, but it is so worth it. It's not very much. I think it's just a couple dollars a month or maybe five. I really, really don't remember. Um, but it is so worth it. If we are out and about, we can just pull up our phones and put the transaction in right away. You set the category. Um, so let's say you were eating out and you can set um, your which credit card you paid with. Um, if you used a debit card, whatever. It helps keep us completely reconciled and everything. It has just really been a lifesaver. So what we do is we use that and then I pull those numbers in 
um, I go in and I reconcile all of the accounts and that program and make sure that it's all good and then um, I go in with this tracker and I will put the categories or put the transactions in each category. So I think I'm going to use this mild liner, although I think I want to use the skinny side instead. This is the color blue green and I think it goes pretty nicely with this washi. It's not going to be perfect. Um, so I do track six categories and there are 36 um, grid spaces in this Hobonichi and so it works great. Um, comes out to just six boxes a piece. So this mild liner just helps add a little bit of color without going overboard. I find that I actually use um, this side of the mild liner more than the highlighter tip. I think that's what most people use most often. But I actually really just like this simple bullet tip. And then so I'm just going to draw a line so that I have room to write what the categories are and how much I have budgeted in each category for this month. Our budget is a not set in stone budget. Um, it definitely fluctuates from month to month depending on what we have going on. So the first category that we like to track is fuel. And we have been going over in fuel. I'm going to leave it at 250. That's what I had it at in May. We actually went over by quite a bit. We did a lot of traveling. Groceries, I like to do about $100 per week. We do tend to spend a little bit more in the summer, so this will be interesting to see how we do um, just with having people over and fresh produce and that type of thing. Um, we do usually spend just a little bit more, um, but I'm gonna leave it there for now. And then we have eating out. And this is one that I really want to give us more money, um, but I shouldn't. <laughs> I need to be disciplined and um, just leave it at 200. So then we have household items. And there are several things that I need. I need to stock up on Kleenexes and trash bags and paper towels this month. So that is actually probably not going to be quite enough, but I like to leave these at 50, both household and personal. So this is things like shampoo, um, body wash, deodorant. I like to leave them at 50 each month because some months I don't even spend hardly anything, and so it all kind of balances out. In the end of the year, once you look at everything, and then we do like to just have a miscellaneous, kind of a catch-all, um, just random little things that come up that don't really belong in any specific category. So there is my expense tracker for June, and I only have one more spread that I am going to do, and that is my editorial calendar. So here's my May editorial calendar, just to kind of give you an idea of what I do. Um, it looks like June does start on a Saturday, so I will probably just put that up here in this little spot and then do the bulk of it here like normal. So what I do often flip back and forth um, just so I can get this spacing right so that I don't have to count too much. So what I usually like to do is just do some dots and then come back in and fill in the rest later. So it looks like this first line is at like the five o'clock hour here. And then the 15, the one, um, the one where my tab is, let's see, this one, and then the bottom. I don't think that I'll need to use this bottom spot at all um, since I'm putting this other little Saturday up on the corner. Um, if you are wondering why I only have six, I never upload on Sunday. 
So this is just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I have pretty consistently been just doing five videos a week. My original goal was every day, um, but that is just not always doable. And I think I have finally just decided that I'm okay with that. And um, it's not worth stressing over to try and get a video every single day up. I am really busy. I'm a mom and a wife and a part-time music teacher, which means that I am on summer break. However, um, I do still have some things to do. Um, like I said, I am having a baby in July, and so I will not be um, starting the year right away. So I will need to make sub plans and um, I need to figure out the music for next year for sure and um, pick the play that we're doing in the fall yet. And so there's a lot of things that I still need to do even though we're not in school right now. So I do still um, wear the music teacher hat in the summer even though we're not in session. So anyway, so that and um, my daughter's definitely a full-time job. And then, um, of course, our Etsy shop. Um, it just seems like we're getting busier and busier, which is fantastic. And I'm really excited about. Um, but it does um, just take more and more of my time. And so um, posting less videos is a way to where I can kind of have a little bit of breathing room. I find that whenever I try and post a video every single day of the week, I get really stressed and I don't enjoy my downtime, um, either downtime with just my husband or downtime with my daughter too as a family. I'm just constantly thinking, okay, what could I be getting done if I weren't playing in the backyard? What could I be getting done if I wasn't, you know, just doing whatever it is that I'm doing. And I don't want to be in that place. I want to be in a place where I can enjoy the time and the moments, especially when it's just us three still before the craziness of a newborn. Um, if you're a mom, you've been there, you know how that goes, especially if you have multiple. I don't know what that looks like yet. Um, trying to keep my daughter sane and <laughs> occupied while keeping a newborn content as well. So I definitely have a crazy July coming for me. And so I want to be able to enjoy the time with my family and um, just really be able to soak all of that in before the crazy hits. So it could be that I don't even consistently do five a week. It could be that I go down to four and that's not a decision that I will make lightly, um, but it will be a decision that's ultimately best for um, my mental health and well-being and my family's as well. I need to remember that I am not super mom and I do not have to get it all done. Super mom, super business owner, super you know YouTuber, whatever. Like, there's nobody telling me that I have to upload and a certain, you know, six days a week or even four days a week. It's really just whatever I feel comfortable doing. And I almost forgot, I do need to add this little one up here for Saturday the 1st. So then I like to go in and number them just in the corner here. So one and then the second is a Sunday where I don't have, so then I will jump to three. And then just number all the way across. Okay, and then June does have 30 days, so I need to add another little box down here as well. So I don't have any dots to go by. I'm just going to wing it. These are obviously not as large as the boxes in the middle here, but that is okay.
All right, so then this will be the 30th. I'm not actually going to fill this in right now, but I am going to go ahead and write June editorial calendar just up on the top. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is use this June script sticker and cover up this box like so, and then write editorial calendar. I did this really fun um, font the last time, and so I think I'm going to try and duplicate that on this month's as well. It's not going to be exactly the same. My fonts are almost never exactly the same, but I kind of like this fun little like whimsical serif editor. <laughs> I'm also not the best speller, so there is that. And then I don't have as much room here since I have this little square or rectangle. So I'm just going to put Cal. I know what it is. I don't even actually probably need the title, but I'm doing it anyway. All right. So that was the last spread that I wanted to sh um, go ahead and share with you. Um, that's the last of the monthly. After this, I will just start in with my weeklies. Um, and so here's this one. A look at my expense tracker again, my brain dump, and then my Hello June page where I will write just memories from the month as they come along. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.